For the third problem, uh, for the third multiple choice problem uh, in this exam, we are given the circuit. They have a battery with EMF 16 volts, some internal resistance small r, and it's connected in series to a resistance of 24 ohms. And we are told that uh, it's going to it's, it's observed that the power dissipated in the external resistance r is the three quarters of the total power dissipated in the circuit. So uh, PR is three quarters of PR plus P small r. Let's say this is the total power dissipated in the circuit. What's the total power dissipated by two resistors R and R in the circuit? So they're asking for this. And what will this be? Now, to calculate that, we first need to figure out the resistance of this one. These guys have the same, uh, the same current passing through them. The power is I times V, but V is I times R, so this is I squared times R. So for the same current, the larger the R, the larger the power dissipated. If this actually contains three quarters of the um, of the total power, this must contain uh, one fourth, uh, one third of the uh, power. So its resistance also must be one third. So small r is eight ohms, okay, because its power is uh, one third. That's so how it goes. Now eight uh, plus twenty-four, our equivalent is going to be thirty-two ohms, and they're asking for the total power. Uh, we can also write this as uh, instead of uh, i, we can write v over r. So this is v squared over r as well. v is the dissipation. So the total power is going to be 16 squared divided by 32. Uh, this is 16. This is 2. This is 8 watts. Okay. And that will make it choice E in the, in the answer sheet. Now, for the fourth multiple choice problem, we have a more complicated circuit. So it only looks more complicated. It's actually not complicated at all. Um, we have two resistors, and we have a switch. This and we have two capacitors here, C1 and C2, and this is R1 and R2. This is the circuit, this is our switch, initially it's open. Uh, consider an RC circuit shown in the figure where these are 10 and 15 microfarads. This is 10 microfarads, this is 15 microfarad, and the resistors are 250 ohms and 750 ohms. So the capacitors are initially have some charge. After the switch is closed, how long will it take for the total charge on the capacitor to decrease to one half of the initial value? Okay, so uh, when we close the switch, we are going to have some equivalent capacitance connected in series to some equivalent resistance, and we can calculate these. Uh, the equivalent resistance is, of course, 1,000 ohms. These are connected in series. They have the same current, so 750 plus 250 is 1,000. These are connected in parallel. They have the same potential difference. So uh, the equivalent capacitance is 25 microfarads. Now, the time constant in an RC circuit connected this way, when the capacitor is in series to a uh, resistor, the time constant is R times C. And in this case, uh, this is just going to be uh, 1,000 times 25 times 10 to minus 6 seconds. So this is two, uh, 25 times 10 to minus 3 seconds, let's say. Or we can just make this 2.5 times 10 to minus 2 seconds. And what are they asking here? Uh, how long will it take for a total charge on the capacitor? So the total charge on the capacitor is going to have a decay that looks like this. Okay, some initial charge that decays. So the graph is going to look like an exponential decay from Q naught to T. Q is a function of T time. Okay. So we want this, we want this whole thing to be one half its initial value, which means that this thing needs to be one half. So e to the minus T over tau is one half. I can take the logarithm of both sides to simplify this. Uh, what I get 
is that uh, minus t over tau is ln 1 over 2, but this is minus ln 2, so this becomes plus, and the time it takes is tau times ln 2, but tau is just 2.5 times 10 to minus 2 seconds, so the delta t required 2.5 times 10 to minus 2 times ln 2 seconds. And this is, in fact, choice C in the answer sheet.